Hello and welcome to another daily devotion as this week we talk about putting our prayers in practice and following up with our final ministry church council. But it's also the week when we're just getting ready to approach the upcoming holiday of Thanksgiving. So I share a little bit of story that one council meeting we had discovered in the church archives some old council minutes you know, the record keeping of what was going on in the church in 1920, 1930, 1890. And I came across some of these and I shared them at council. The church council has shared that they cannot pay the newly called pastor. And so the pastor has decided to leave because the church hasn't been able to keep its financial commitments. 1921. Uh, the church has decided that, uh, that mowing the, the property to our, our south is too much, too much care, too much cost. So the park district will uh, be granted that land and title um, so that uh, it isn't a burden on the resources of the people of the church anymore. Uh, official park. But again, finances. And I shared this with the church council because we were worried we were creating a, a meeting about the budget for the next year. And I said, now look at this. Way back a hundred years ago, people were worried. What are we going to do? How are we going to pay the bills? And you're not alone. Every church has some of those cares and concerns. But God has seen us through for a hundred and fifty four or five years now. So let's have a little faith. Now your church council, in the midst of budgets and buildings and boilers and parking lots and floods and thinking about all those things keeping the church safe and operational making sure all the bills are paid for this space that is our, our base of operations. They also have to continually ask, where are we headed as a people? Who are we to the community? Are we relevant in this moment as a light to Jesus Christ? Have we lost sight of our mission in the mundane decisions that we sometimes go through in the operational stuff, the business side of the church? Do we still remember what our mission is as a congregation? Do our people remember it? Are we tired? Are we revitalized? How do we reach out and energize our people? How do we connect them deeper and more deeply to spirit, to God, to one another, to this community? How does the community know us? Do they know us? Are we the best kept secret in Downers Grove? These are things that, as part of the lay leadership of council, is living into the dream God has for this people and continuing to strive, push, and challenge us around that table to say, this is who I think God calls us to be. Whether we're making a decision to acquire a new property or to add a new staff member or to take a leap of faith for an outreach mission, that we've never done before. Who is not here that we hope will be here in the future? How do we reach online people and connect them in a digital age where all the rules have changed? How do we use this space that at one time meant one thing but now is changing? These are all things that weigh upon your church council. They're not things to be weighed lightly but they are things that their church council shares. So I ask you, not only for those who are serving on council now, but for those to come in the 2022 new year, and I pray that you might consider being one of them, to pray for the leadership of your church, the ministries we've talked about thus far, and your church council. Pray that God would continue to give them wisdom to challenge their own individual spirits and that of our community, and to live into the dreams that God has for this people, this place, in this time.